Hello my friends, it's me, Leo again. Um, I hope you watched the vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously you've seen I went to Norwich and I went to CEX and I bought some things from CEX. So here I have my CEX bag um, and I want to show you the pickups that I got. So this is only a very quick video and I will tell you how much I paid for each item in the end. So first, actually I will say this, every game that I buy sort of means something to me. So I'm not just collecting like for profit or anything like that. And I don't really care if they come uh, in a case or in a box or instructions. As long as I have the game and I can play the game, that's the main thing. And I have memories of the game. So the first one that I'm going to dig out is on the N64 and it is World Cup 98. Um, obviously released in 98, possibly 97, but 98. Um, the World Cup was in France, a very good tournament. And I think if I remember correctly, um, France beat Brazil 3-0 in the final. Uh, this game is awesome. It looks a bit dated now, as you can probably see. Um, the sprites are good, but the gameplay is phenomenal. I really enjoyed this on the N64. Look at that there. And the next game, I first played this in 1991, possibly 92, no, no it was 90, 91, I played it on uh, import. And that is on the Super Nintendo, and it is none other than Super Tennis. This is a great game, a great tennis game. It still holds up today. Of course, the graphics look a bit dated, but um, the gameplay is still there. Um, I really enjoyed playing this as a nine-year-old, really did. I wasn't the best at it, to be honest, but holds special memories for me. So that's the second game that I got. Now the third one, I played this ooh, maybe when I was seven or eight, I had this, and it is a Nintendo game, a Nintendo Entertainment System game, a NES game, and it is WrestleMania, yes. So you can see Hulk Hogan is on the front there, looking excited in all his 80s glory. Um, really good beat em up this, very good in two players. I have not played this in years, probably since I was about seven or eight, but I remember being in my bedroom, playing this with friends and really enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to playing this. And last but not least, Actually, probably my favourite out of the pickup that I got today. It's on the PlayStation. It was released in 95. I played it in about October, December, uh, maybe November, no, November or December 1995. And it was an arcade game before that. And it is a brilliant, brilliant racing game. And it is Ridge Racer. This is awesome. Brings back so many memories of me. It's a bit limited in the tracks that it's got. It's got one track and it has like three or four options and you can add little bits onto the track by selecting different options. Um, gameplay is absolutely brilliant. Graphics, I think they're really good for the time, especially on the PlayStation. I really think it's like the soundtrack is absolutely amazing. This soundtrack is a banger. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah. This one come with um, the instruction booklet. I know that some of you people like that. And a good disc. It's the Platinum Edition, so it wasn't the original release. This was a budget version that they'd done. Um, yeah, so that was that. So those are my pickups. And for all of these, I wonder if I can put them strategically, stand them up so it looks nice while I'm talking about them. So, Right, so for each of these, I paid, have a guess, £4 for this one, I paid another £4 for this one, and I paid £4 for WWF, or WWE as it's known, and I also paid £12 for Ridge Racer. So I'm really happy with the prices that I paid, and um, yeah, expect some reviews and gameplay for, uh, gameplay of them soon but 
that was my CEX pickup. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and I hope you enjoyed the vlog before that was released beforehand. But as always, I'm Leo. This has been Leo's World, the CEX pickup. Thank you so much. Us.